take a vow daughter by yourself, so no, I don't care. How? You can't. How? You can't. How can't I? You can't take a vow daughter. No, she good. She good. She good. She good. She good. You can't take a vow daughter. You can't. How can't I? How can't I take care of her? Why can't I? How can't I take care of her? How can't I take care of her? How can't I? 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 How I can't. How but you don't? Because you know why? Because you take up our daughter by yourself, so how, I don't care. How? You can't. How? You can't. How can't I? You can't take up our daughter. How can't I? No, she good. She good. She good. She good. She good. You can't take up our daughter. How can't I? You can't. I'm good. How can't I? Damn. How can I take care of her? Damn. Why can't I? Damn. How can I take care of her? How can I take care of her? How? How can't I? 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 I but can't. But you don't. I can't. How but you don't? Because you know why. Because New tonight and first on Fox, police were called to a Baltimore Ravens house for a domestic assault. Investigators say he was the victim. Fox 45 News' Alexa Ashwell breaks down details and experts weigh in on the issue, plus the police reports, the pictures and story that show domestic violence impacts men and women. Baltimore Raven Danny DJ Fluker, a six foot five, 340 pound offensive lineman and first round 2013 NFL draft pick at the center of a domestic assault investigation. His girlfriend, a five foot seven, 140 pound woman, the one facing charges. But on July 13th, Baltimore County police were called to the home in Ricerstown. The police report, obtained exclusively by Fox 45, reads, Danny Fluker advised he was struck in the nose with a closed fist by his girlfriend, suspect Kimberly Davis, and further stated this was not the first time she had assaulted him over the course of their relationship. The officer observed dry blood coming from his nose. A family friend corroborated the player's statement, but Davis defended herself. In this report, telling the officer she poked the victim in the nose during the argument and became angry and upset after the witness expressed she was a bad mother. The two share a child. The two captured in this cell phone video, along with another man and child in the background, in what sources say was another separate incident from this latest one. We blurred the faces because it's unclear if charges were filed in this incident. Domestic violence itself is very dangerous. Baltimore-based Domestic Violence Shelter and Resource Center, House of Ruth, discussing the overall severity of domestic violence, not specific to this case. It remains under investigation, and Davis has not been proven guilty of the accusations. Legal Clinic Director Dorothy Lenning saying, while women are more often abused than men, one in four women compared to one in ten men, abuse of men does occur. All the society biases is, I think it's harder for them to reach out. I think they're probably not as likely to call the police. The police may not take it as seriously. Um, they have all those stigmas to overcome. The Baltimore Ravens releasing this statement. We have been in regular communication with DJ regarding this matter and will continue to monitor the situation. A professional football player listed as victim in a domestic assault. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. Alexa, thank you. Court records show Kimberly Davis is facing a misdemeanor second degree assault charge. Her contact information was removed from the report and a no contact order has been issued, meaning she is no longer at the Reisterstown home as we have tried to get. Hello, this is Kev and this is Black Men Being Brutally Honest. And really, honestly, that situation is really sad. But before we get into it, um, I would like for you to go, if you haven't, go below the screen, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell. Uh, so uh, before you, before we proceed any further, let's just go ahead and get some things out of the way. Uh, yes, this guy plays for the Baltimore Ravens. So, but this is not a, I see where Ray Rice was coming from. So, because, you know, if, for those who have good memories, Ray Rice also played for the Baltimore Ravens, and he was also involved in a recorded incident where he was seen striking his lady. Now, they're married. They got married two weeks after that incident. So that's another situation. But this is not going to be one of those I see where Ray Rice is coming from type videos 
even though I know there are plenty of men because of this incident right here, will say, I see where Ray Rice is coming from. So this is not gonna be that kind of video. I will, however, say that um, I, I, I believe that grown men should stand up for themselves a little bit more and establish ground. You don't have to beat anybody, but you can restrain them. Now, DJ Fluker should have restrained the woman, period. But we all know what happens when you put hands on a female, then all the, he beat me, oh my God, he's lying. And we live in a society that believes all women. It's just, it's, it is what it is. It's like, if, if there's a form that is uh, caters to Western society, it's believe all women. If, there, if it wasn't for that recording, that girl could have told all kinds of lies. He threatened me and my daughter. The, the law would have believed her. And people like DJ Fluker knows this. He, he, he knows this. That's why, that's why he didn't act. So, you know, just, just wanted to touch on that a little bit too. This is why he didn't act. It, it, it's like the news report itself. He's 6'5", he's 345 pounds, you know? And his girlfriend was five, I think she said five, seven, 130. And she was decking him. His nose was bleeding. He showed the blood on his hand, like it's pictured here. Just, just, just like, we, we, we allow this. We, we do, we, we do allow this. But I'm just gonna say it for DJ Fluga, he kinda allowed it. He could've like not put up with that shit. It's like, no one should be putting their hands on anyone, especially in front of children. Now she said that he, she got, he, she poked him in the nose because she got mad that, she got mad that he said that she was a bad mother. Now, does that look like a good mother to you on that footage? It, it, if you're saying that's a good mother, I have to wonder about your mentality. But, but, but anyway, like, like that's, that's how women make up their own versions of things. It's like the only thing she did was poke him in the nose and he bled a big old tough grown ass football player. Remember they said six, five, 340 pounds. He even became afraid when she became irate. And um, he, he, and he, he explained to the police that this is not the first time she has done this. So him becoming fearful, that's regular ass shit. She thought it was okay to punch him in the face like that. If that was a person that never tried that person before like that, then that like, like she wouldn't even have gone that far. She's been doing this shit to him on a regular basis. You know, the, the, yeah, the, the, and the and, and, uh, man was right. Domestic violence affects men too. Men don't, the one thing the woman was right about was that men are embarrassed to report these kinds of things. Brothers, if you're going through a situation like this, you need to take this, uh, and, and I know some of y'all think that beating these women is the answer, but it really isn't. Because if she has any bruises or scratches on her, she can make up this whole compelling story about how she was mistreated and she lived like a prisoner in her home and she she was scared and frightened and frightened the kid too. Yeah, she'll bring the kid into it in a heartbeat. Cause women will lie. I would even reference the uh, incident that took place back in 2018 uh, with Sierra Day and, and Michael Garrett. Like he was begging the courts to get his daughter. But all she had to do was tell a lie. He's scaring me, he's scaring the child. They came up with a restraining order in like six hours. This man literally begging, look at like reports uh, of injuries to his daughter. And then his child ends up dead. You know why? Because believe all women. That is a very dangerous precedence. And that's the kind of thing that took place in this situation here. DJ Fluker knew he didn't have a snowball chance in hell with the law. Hey man, my, my five, my five, seven, 130 pound girlfriend is abusing me. That, 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 that's, a, that's not only like embarrassing, it's a blow to a man's pride. I mean, this dude very well might be a gentle giant and, it, a, and the gentle giant is to his detriment. Now, I'm not saying that he should go blow for blow with her because if he went full strength on her, he would kill her. I don't care how bitchy she is. <laughs> like, like, seriously. 
If it went, but at least he, the least he could have did was restrain her. Show, show his child that you have to respect a person's space. That, that wasn't right what she did at all. I don't care what the man said. You fight words with words. These women out here are always trying to justify how they treat men. There was no accountability with her. As far as she was concerned, the only thing that she did was poke him in the nose with her finger and he bled because she was so strong. She was punching him with closed fists. There were witnesses. She's being charged with a misdemeanor. I think he should seek punishment to the fullest extent of the law and I think he needs to take custody of his child because that's an unfit mother. Period. That, that, that's what it is. That's what it boils down to. She's an unfit mother. I don't care if she carried that child for nine months to save her life. Period. Stop thinking y'all can treat these brothers how y'all want to treat these brothers, though. I mean, it, he hasn't earned my respect. It's like y'all make these excuses for every reason. But as we've been finding out through men like Will Smith, I would even say Tory Lane, <laughs> even though he had to shoot her, is you, you're finding out that success ain't enough to get respect. This is an indoctrinated behavior. It's not I submit if you pay all the bills. Uh uh. No, it ain't that. And, and I guarantee you. That was his place. He was paying every fucking thing. He was paying everything. But but that's how they react. They, they, you're in a society that treats women like they're innocent and cute. And if they give up sex, then the world owes them everything. I bet she takes her own shopping sprees with that NFL check. But, but anyway, it's, it's just, fellas, fellas, fellas out there, what should you do in a situation where you're being punched full on with closed fist in the face and, she, and it just happens to be a female? I know what my boy Roger would say, you're in a fight. Go ahead and win the fight. Like, he wouldn't have had to do much. He, he would not have had to do much. Like I said, he could have like just sat on her. Made her feel helpless for a second. You know, anything but taking punches to the face, because I don't even believe in taking punches to the face from anyone. You try me like that, I'm at least snap a finger. Like, that ain't, that's not gonna fly with me. I, uh, no one should put their hands on anyone. I don't care. Like, so, 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 so women out there who, who think that they can just do it, oh, he can take it, he won't be hurt, he'll be good. Keep your little damn hands to yourself. Because I believe in that. Once you cross that line with me physically, that's it. That's it. I have no time to allow harm to come to myself because you feel as a woman that you're angry and you have a right to hit somebody if you want to. But let me get off of that. I would never encourage men to just start beating women. But I will encourage anyone, men and women included, to defend yourself. He could have defended himself. It was being recorded. Well, maybe he was doing the recording. I mean, yeah, and it is evidence. It is evidence. But how much punishment is she actually going to sit there and receive for that? If I were him, if I were smart, I'd get a lawyer on it. I'd get custody of my daughter, and I'd get the fuck up out of there. i get, or at least get her the fuck up out of there, because she ain't paying nothing. A sorry person like that, that has the nerve to raise, raise their hand at the person that's supposed to be uh, taking care of them. But, but but guess what happens? Guess guess what happens? If he would have beat her ass, then it would have been all of y'all all over the place. Uh, black men aren't protecting black women. Oh, we dropped the ball. Uh, we These dudes are in their feelings. Y'all got to do better. Uh, I'm, uh, like, like, honestly, guys, just, just, just have some self-respect and have some pride and have some dignity. No one has a right to do that to you, period. And if you have to call the police, which, you know, is kind of suspect nowadays, then, I mean, go, don't even call the police. Go into the police station and file a report. Like this, so, so they won't show up. Freeze, nobody move. Hey, wait a minute, I'm the victim, pop out. 
think about it. if you were Danny DJ Fluker and you were going to this, going through this, what would you do knowing every bad circumstance that could happen? Because as like I said, the news report framed it, they made sure that you knew that he was 6'5, 345 pounds. Yeah, I'm about to wrap this up in a little bit, but um, this is why you have men's rights groups. This is why you have groups like MGTOW and SYSBM. I mean, y'all insult these movements all y'all want. And I mean, like some of the connotations of those movements are kind of bitter. But for the most part, they have a point. And it's because of shit like this. Men going their own way because bitches be bitches. And I'm going to even tell you, I'm going to even tell you, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a yellow dollar sign for this one, I know. But uh, I'm going to even tell you this, a lot of women are getting tired of it too. A lot of women that love men, that, that, that respect men, they're getting tired of this kind of crap too. And you talk about the effects of feminism. Yeah, that's feminism right there. The absolute belief that you can treat men how you want physically because you're a woman. That's the kind of shit I believe this young lady was on. And as a Western society, this is on us, period. Men like DJ feel like they ain't got nowhere to go. But a lot of men out there are not right now saying, well, I see where Ray Rice is coming from. I mean, I mean, ladies, you're doing it to yourselves. There have been several incidences. There was this incident where this, this girl shot this guy because he didn't want to argue. I might still do a video on that. What y'all think in the comments? Like, anyway, I I'm done with this. Uh, check out the news story. And if there are any new developments, which I seriously doubt, because the reason why I say that there won't be any new developments, because the woman is clearly guilty in this uh, scenario. And, and, and no, they don't want the narrative shifting. That's why these men's rights groups are going to be out here screaming to the top of their lungs. Because of shit like this. But I hope that, you know, at the end of the day, I hope that DJ Fluker does the right things, especially for his kid, because that's a very toxic environment. You do not want a kid growing up in an environment like that. And fellas out there, the ones of you that don't have kids, look at incidences like this. And, 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 and you got to say to yourself, I cannot stick my unprotected dick in crazy. Because that's the look. This is, I mean, you, you can't say, oh, this is what this situation looks like. This is what this situation right here is. Can't stick your dick in crazy, people. Seriously. Think about it. I mean, booty might be big. It is just switching from side to side. But, you know, that that might, that, that booty might come with a lot of stress. Like, like take it from... Take it from Bev Bev DeVoe. Don't trust the big button to smile. But I think I've done enough talking at this point. Uh, look, just, just me and just stand up for your rights. And in some cases, you got to go ahead and win the fight. When a woman hits you like that with a closed fist, are you in a fight? A lot of men would say yes. They, nobody has, but, but you got to think about it like this at the end of the day. No one has the right to put their hands on anyone like that, male or female, period. Just think about it from that standpoint. But this man has a family and a daughter. Think about it. If he'd have hit, if he'd have hit and beat the shit out of this girl with his daughter watching, what example of a man would he be to her? I mean, would she fully understand and process that what, 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 what her mom is doing? Or will society tell her that her father is nothing but a loser and a jerk and, a, and, and an abusive nightmare? Think about it. I'm sure, like, I'm just trying to think about it from DJ's shoes. Trying to. I mean, although I'm not in a situation like that. Uh, thank God. <laughs> Well, anyway, I've done enough talking about this. Um, I hope you, in, like, this is really nothing to enjoy, but, you know, I hope you enjoyed my commentary a little bit. Even if you didn't, leave it in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Uh, do we need to, once again, 
take a look at how we view domestic violence and domestic abuse in America. Leave it in the comment section. And like I said, and I'm going to say it again, I hope DJ Fluker does the right thing. Go through all the legal channels and does what's best for himself and his daughter, especially. I mean, I mean, F that other broad. Like, you know, I don't care what happens to her. I hope she's punished. But society is not going to punish her. And, and you've seen many, many examples as to why. So do the right thing, DJ Fluker. Seriously. So, all right. That, that's it for me right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subbing. And uh, long live the habitual line steppers. Uh, in Kev we trust. Goodbye. <laughs>